So many choices, so little money. How does one decide which SSD to choose? Hi, I'm Nikhil and welcome to Pimpa Rig, a new series for PC gamers, modders, builders and enthusiasts. <laughs> There are plenty of fish in the sea, just like there are plenty of SSDs in the market, ranging from Samsung, SanDisk, OCZ, Intel, etc. And each SSD has a particular purpose. Now, what takes a while is choosing the right one. Not everyone needs a right speed of 520 Mbps or a 1 TB SSD, but if you're a gamer or a video editor, that 520 Mbps makes a world of difference. For this video, we got our hands on the latest range of SSDs from SanDisk. And to explain how these different SSDs work is our own in-house expert, Mars. Alright, let's talk about SSDs. They come in a wide range of shapes, sizes, speeds and prices. The important thing to keep in mind is what your use for the SSD is. Let's start with the casual user. Now the main thing any PC user wants is a quick boot time and a system that runs smoothly. Especially so if you use a lot of tabs on Chrome or any other browser that you use. For such a user, the SSD Plus or the Ultra 2 is preferable. The SSD Plus is a good choice, but not the best. One of the primary features for the SSD Plus is its low cost. But since the price for the SSD Plus is less, so is the read and write speed as compared to the popular Ultra 2 SSD, which is presently one of the most popular SSDs in the market due to a reasonable price and a fast read and write speed as well. Instead of talking about the speeds, let me quickly run them side by side and see how they compare. The benchmarking tool that we're using is called Crystal Disk Mark. As you can see, the Ultra 2 is clearly faster. There is a significant difference between the two, especially considering that the Ultra 2 SSD is just 1500 rupees more than the SSD Plus. Not only do SSDs increase speed, but they're also a lot more durable than a hard drive. And it doesn't hurt that both these SSDs come with a 3 year warranty. But what if I'm a gamer and my primary concern is not having a better boot time, but I want my load time on games to be as minimal as possible? Well, that was exactly what I was coming to. The SanDisk Extreme Pro is one of the fastest SSDs in the market right now. With a read speed of 550 Mbps and a write speed of 520 Mbps. That is the advantage of the Extreme Pro, it's extremely fast. SSDs are not just for gamers. If you are a video editor, or a photo editor, or a 3D artist, and would like to reduce the time it takes to render your work, the Extreme Pro is again an excellent choice. And sometimes you need to store some really important data, especially if you are a photographer or a videographer who travels with a lot of data. Well, the Xtreme Pro again has your back. The Xtreme Pro is made of freely durable material and can take a beating, making it essential for professionals who carry a lot of data with them. SanDisk is very confident in the Xtreme Pro, so much so that they offer a whopping 10 year warranty. Yes, that's a decade long warranty. Well, I hope you found this video informative, and hopefully you can now make a better choice in choosing your SSD. And if you like this video and want to see more, hit like, share with your friends and subscribe to stay updated on all the latest buzz in gaming, modding and PC building. And if you have a suggestion, cool tip or even a cool mod, let us know in the comments below and maybe you could be featured in this video series. And until next time, my name is Nikhil.